Hi right, guys, it is a beautiful moonlit night here in the end times on this, uh, it is a Monday night, November 7th, 2022, and uh, so I think the final straw when I decided to boycott the dog and pony show going on over there in that big resort city, uh, <clears throat> is when I stumbled across this thing, the United Nations Act Now campaign. These are 10 ways that you can save the planet by lowering your carbon footprint. 10 ways, United Nations, 10 ways you personally can save the planet. Save energy at home. Number two, walk, bike, or take public transport. Number three, eat more vegetables. We're going to sort of talk about that in a little while. Consider your travel. Throw away less food. Reduce, reuse, repair, and recycle. Change your home's source of energy. Switch to an electric vehicle. Make your money count and speak up. There you go. These are 10 lifestyle and consumer choices you can make to save the planet. Obviously, the United Nations is not going to mention the one way, the only way to do a damn thing about saving this planet that you take all 10 of these and multiply them times 100 and not breeding uh, anyway. So then uh, while I was on there, actually, I guess it was, uh, well, shit. Uh, don't tell me that uh, that my computer has it's unbelievable how my computer is uh, eating things. This is the uh, anyway, guys, well, I should probably. Uh, just kill this rant. <coughs> Unbelievable. Uh, that this, uh, it, it just, it just got eaten. The, the story that I wanted to, uh, to talk about. There's so much doom and gloom here, guys. Uh, and I had it called up. Uh, and now it is gone for good, so I will just shut up about it. Uh, what it was, was one of these things, uh, about from the BBC, uh, four ways to save the, oh, it was hidden behind here. Okay, BBC climate change, four things you can do about your carbon footprint. And of course, uh, they just take, here is insulate your home. Yeah, there you go. Cut out food waste and cut down on red meat. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Drive less and fly less and think before you buy course no mention about breeding but anyway what I wanted to what, what a part of this that I did enjoy was uh, you know I I do not eat beef or seafood but I do eat pork and chicken and as I have said before that a that a pig or a chicken is closer to a potato or a bean in its environmental 
uh, footprint than a beef cow is, and certainly seafood. Now, of course, my virtue signaling, and, and make no mistake about it, it, it it's virtue signaling is the environmental slash ecological footprint of your diet, uh, which the carbon footprint is one small part of that. It is one part of many. Uh, but this article, so it's not talking about ecological footprints because nobody is talking about the full ecological environmental footprint. This carbon footprint bullshit has so completely co-opted the discussion about every single other threat to this planet, uh, th th this over... Uh, you know, emphasis on carbon while ignoring habitat, the destruction, and of course, overpopulation. But anyway, even with that flaw, all this is looking at is, is carbon uh, emissions. So, since wild seafood does not, wild caught seafood does not have much of a carbon footprint, even though, even though seafood has the single highest ecological environmental footprint by far, hands down, bar none of any type of food on this planet, that seafood, any kind of seafood, if it comes out of the ocean, okay, it is the most environmentally destructive uh, diet choice you can make. Uh, this is why I do not eat things that come out of the ocean. So seafood is not on this list. But not counting that fact, and if seafood were on this list, and if this uh, chart were looking at the total environmental impact, because here's beef compared to everything else. Seafood would be, if beef is here, seafood is here. I, I remember the rating, and I'm sorry, I can't remember the uh, book anymore. Uh, but anyway, as I recall, it rated or weighted, I guess is a better term, seafood got a 28. The larger the number, the more, uh, you know, the more environmentally damaging. So seafood got a 28. Beef got an 18. Uh, seafood 28, beef 18. And I don't think there was any other food other than beef and seafood, that got over like a six. You know, so pork and chicken and dairy, this is why I don't eat beef, but I do consume dairy. Uh, that beef, pork, and dairy have a range from like on the environmental footprint between like four and seven, while, you know, beef has an 18 and uh, seafood has a 28. But even just looking at the carbon footprint, beef has the biggest carbon footprint. Uh, so anyway, but they do, so this is just looking at the carbon footprint of your dietary choices. So here is beef, way out here. I, I mean, and then they, uh, I guess the next one, the next highest, the number two is, uh, and uh, for someone who just finished a big bowl of chocolate ice cream is chocolate, chocolate. 
is the number two. No, I'm sorry, that's no farmed prawns. Since wild prawns aren't, uh, they would be a 28. Farmed prawns uh, are the second highest. And then tying for third uh, is lamb and chocolate. I have to admit, I am guilty as charged on the chocolate. Uh, now, they don't put palm oil in here as, a, you know, as, as a kind of food. So, uh, they, they don't separate palm oil out as an ingredient. So, but even, but lamb, farmed prawns, and chocolate are all pretty much evenly weighted, but let's call them in a tie for a second. They are still less than one half the impact of beef. And then farmed fish, because I, uh, I do eat tilapia, catfish, and trout. I eat all three of those freshwater fish, all three of which come from farms. Uh, I do eat them. So here is f farmed fish, meaning uh, farmed fish, meaning tilapia, catfish, and and trout more than anything. Uh, pork and chicken are pretty roughly uh, equal. Uh, they are a lot less than lamb, farmed prawns, and chocolate, but compared to, let's look at pork. So pork is between farmed fish and chicken, but pork it has about one fourth the uh, one fourth the carbon footprint of beef, and so and it's also, as I recall, the same as the uh, full environmental impact. And um, now I, what they don't do here is they don't, uh, I wish they put more veg, they, they should at least have corn and beans and potatoes on here, you would think. Uh, but you see, you know, down below chicken is cheese, milk is below cheese, so here's tofu, all right, tofu which is down here, but the, but as I point out, although pork has four times, pork and chicken have three to four times the impact of tofu, all right, but I thought tofu was soybeans, which comes mostly from the Am former Amazon rainforest. But what, what I'm saying here, and the, and the same thing would hold true if they put potatoes, corn, and beans, and all the rest of them, that, that farmed fish, pork, chicken, and dairy are a hell of a lot closer to tofu and uh, potatoes and beans and, you know, all the vegetarian fare uh, than beef. They're a lot, a, a pig or a chicken or a dairy cow is a hell of a lot closer to a potato or a bean uh, than it is a, a beef cow. And sure as hell, as I say, they don't have wild seafood here, uh, which is just a direct assault, uh, all, you know, on the species. Uh, these are all domestically raised, you know, this is human, uh, this is 
agriculture. This doesn't factor in wild animals. Uh, but anyway, I just, I did appreciate that because it gives you a good idea where it, with a quick glance, you can see if, if you just trade beef for pork and chicken and you trade seafood for farmed fish and uh, I tra and I would say and that also includes uh, crawfish you, you know move your prawns and shrimp over to crawfish uh, so if you if you stop eating seafood and start eating tilapia catfish trout and crawfish instead you will be a lot closer to a vegan as far as your impact on the planet than you are with a beef eater. Uh, this is why I choose to make my virtue signaling uh, why I don't eat beef and, and seafood. There it is. Anyway, just had to get that off my chest. Get out there and uh, stop eating beef and seafood and find your own form of virtue signaling while you still can. My guys.